Good evening, everybody. It's Valerie Ling here, clinical psychologist, uh, person who likes to talk about burnout and all that stuff. It's been a while since I've actually come live. Um, I thought about that. I've been um, feeling a little, I don't know, a bit of void coming on live. I, I, I think I understand why. I actually did a couple of live videos and then I deleted it and all that jazz. You know what? <clears throat> Here's the thing. Uh, no matter how much, uh, two things tend to happen, no matter how much I try to shut up about uh, preventing burnout, I can't seem to actually do it. And I think I've recently just entered a, a zone of um, innovation or feeling the need to innovate. And, you know, whenever you come up with new ideas or you think this is a real problem and it's really something that I want to do something about, you obviously have to innovate and then you have to take risks. And then when you have to take risks, um, things get a little bit scary. But I'm here this evening because once I realized what was happening, um, it kind of goes with my whole philosophy, right, of um, making sure that you are self-aware so that um, you engage in the meaningful things that you want to do. One of the things that I've discovered in my travels as I move around different places is um, how many people actually do get to see some of these live videos or know of my blog or my page or so. I'd love it if uh, at some stage, if you felt comfortable, uh, send me a message or just let me know, you know, who are you? Uh, where are you? <laughs> what do you do? And perhaps what your interest is in watching these things. Hopefully if I keep talking, I might see some people who might actually come live with me. I wanted to share a very interesting thing this week um, that occurred to me. Hello there. Hi. Just sharing with you something that turned up for me today that I thought was actually a fantastic thing. And given that I'm all into movements, creating movements, like every time I talk to anybody about an idea, it's like, it's not an idea, it's a movement. We've got to start a movement. Um, one of my things about um, building resilience uh, is actually knowing the science behind resilience. You know, when you say resilience, it's a little bit like um, eating chocolate. Everybody wants to pop something into their mouth so that it tastes good, gives them a, a lift, or putting one of those pod coffees in, right? Um, you know, you just chuck a pod coffee in there. Anyways, that's what resilience is like. And, you know, after a while, I'm like, I need a new word. Um, my friend Geramala, um, I just watched one of her videos, reminded me, she was actually echoing my words, that I talk about capacity building. Yes! Capacity building, everybody. We want to actually increase the capacity to do the things that are meaningful. And um, I've been struggling with exercise. Uh, now, you know, it was exercise week, uh, you know, sort of the, the, the sort of public health uh, promotion for doing more exercise and um, I do not like exercise but there is plenty of good evidence that says we need to exercise now I would like to share with you the story that I have with you um, about exercise when I was uh, little and I went to school um, in another country, not in this country, I was pretty much told in primary school that I should just avoid sport because um, it really wasn't my thing, right? And you've probably heard this story if you've heard my vlogs um, a few times before. Thus began my um, belief structure that you know, exercise wasn't just for me, or just wasn't for me. I'm getting my words muddled up. Uh, fast forward to about 2009, when exercise actually became uh, a, a, a saving medium for me. 2009, yeah, 2009 was when I bought my first adult pair of exercise shoes. Uh, I started with exercise then, um, but it was really in only in 2013 that for some desperate reasons, uh, nothing to do with my weight, nothing to do with my health, but for my own sanity, that I felt like I actually really needed to um, get moving. And when I experienced what it was like to run, when I came home, the clarity I had, um, the, the, the sort of focus that I had and the sort of release that I had, I really got into running. Fast forward to 2019, the body has aged significantly um, and, you know, the, I don't always get a chance to run. And so one of my things that it's been really, really bugging me, really bugging me 
is how on earth do I do exercise? Where do I get the time to do exercise? How am I gonna find uh, the motivation to do exercise? And let me tell you that all of this, even as I'm saying it in my head, I'm going, you know that none of this matters. You don't create motivation, so you go exercise. Um, you don't say, I need another hour in my day so you can exercise. No, 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 no. You do it. You put one foot forward and you do it and you do it one step at a time. But I want to tell you what I discovered today and it's my latest thing that I think I'm going to roll with and I'm sharing with you because you might start the movement too. People, let's start this movement. So I turned up for my regular meeting, it's called supervision, psychologists go through it with one another. And um, it so happened that I decided to walk to the uh, place where we were supposed to meet. And I thought, okay, I'll just do this. And when I walked there, the person who I was meeting then said to me, hey, let's do supervision a little bit differently today. Let's do a walking supervision. Blew my mind. What, say what, what's a walking supervision? I'm pretty sure she hadn't thought of that before, but it just popped into her head. And she's like, let's do our normal thing, supervision, but we're gonna walk instead while we do the while we do the debriefing and the talking. And I'm like, oh, I don't have water. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, I don't even have a handbag. Where am I gonna store like my phone and my keys? And I don't have the right shoes. And I don't know if I can make, um, you know, our two hour session by walking, uh, but you know, uh, you can't lose face when you're in a situation like this, when you talk about burnout and doing exercise. So what you do is you put on that face that says, of course, of course we will do supervision walking. <laughs> Even though the back of my head, I'm like, I don't know I'm prepared for this. Um, and my very lovely uh, friend, she's a clinical psychologist and we've done supervision together for the last three or four years. Um, we walk out together, she runs back to the house. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Uh, she tells me, I'm just going to shut the door right now because I need to get something. I'm like, yeah, in my head, I'm still running through the whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. And she comes out with a handbag, right? I'm looking at her, I'm like, we're going to do a two hour walk and you come back with a handbag. And she slings it over her shoulder and um, she says, great, now we have a bag. And, uh, and so I stuff my mobile phone and my keys and everything. And guess what, folks? We did not just do a one hour supervision. We did not just do two hours. We did two and a half hours of walking while we were having our meeting. And I was just shown the impossible. I was like, mind blown, this is like a thing. So here's my challenge people for the meet to exercise movement. If you are on my diary, not my client, not my clinical load, like if, not if, if you're seeing me in the practice, you will see me in the practice in my room. I'm not gonna drag you out for a walk for us to do therapy, although let's innovate that. But if you are in my diary in the next few months for a networking meeting or whatever, you will find me saying, hey, let's do this walking because I will have my shoes in my car. And I'm more than likely to say, we are gonna convert this meeting into a meet and walk thing, get our exercise, get our sunshine, practice exactly what I preach, and actually have a ball doing it. So here's my challenge for the movement that we are creating tonight. You and my audience of, not that many, <laughs> pass it on, this is a public post and share it. Put some shoes in your car and whatever meeting you go to, just offer it and say, hey, do you want to do this meeting with a walk? We could grab a coffee as we go along because you never know. You might just get that person saying, hey, what a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? We'll all be moving. We'll all be talking. We'll still be meeting, but we won't be having coffee and cake. We'll be walking. That's got to be worth sharing. Thank you. If you've joined me live, I've got a new phone. I have no idea how to see the comments. I will figure it out. I will. Maybe on my next walking meet. Good night.